tópico, el tópico de ir más a más infinitivo. We did have a review session on this, but just in case those who didn't attend, this is your opportunity in three to four minutes to really understand what this means. So we talked about on some of the assignments what you're going to do after quarantine is over. So if it's asking you after quarantine, that means we're using the futuro, okay? Y el futuro en español, okay, hay dos um, opciones, okay? Una opción is what we're focusing on, and that is the ir más a más infinitivo. Número uno, ¿qué significa infinitivo? Okay, infinitivo is something that's never going to go away. You're always going to know it. Muy fácil. Yo explico. Infinitivo. Bailar. Cantar. Escribir. Hablar. If you notice, I'm basically just writing the verbs as we know it. They're not conjugated, just the original verb with their endings. Bailar, to dance. Cantar, to sing. Escribir to write and hablar to speak. So that's just what infinitivo is. It's the verb that has not been changed yet. Okay, so keep that in mind. A en inglés significa to. Right? So, por ejemplo, I'm going to the biblioteca. We would want a la biblioteca or to the store. Al supermercado. So, a significa to. Ir en inglés significa to go. Okay, so all of this looks like a lot until we put it together like this. Ir más a más infinitivo. After quarantine, okay? Después de la cuarentena. And then what am I going to do? Número uno. I have to change ir so that it matches yo. We never want to leave a subject pronoun without a verb conjugated after it. No, 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 no. En español es importante. Tú necesitas conjugar el verbo ir. Okay? So, yo voy. I am going or I go. Yo voy a cenar con mi familia. Broken down, I am going to eat dinner with my family. You notice the infinitivo, I didn't change cenar. Common mistake is you have to conjugate all the verbs. No, no, no. Make sure this one here, you don't conjugate. Necesitamos el infinitivo. ¿Y por qué? Porque yo voy is already conjugated, so we don't need to conjugate the other one. Let's try another one. Por ejemplo. Después de la cuarentena, okay, yo, vamos a usar rojo, yo voy a jugar baloncesto. ¿Sí? So, ir plus a plus infinitivo. Is really just a fancy way of saying future tense, futuro. And remember, if you are using yo, it's yo voy, right? Tu vas el ella usted va. And ir is irregular, so that's why these look like that. Okay? Nosotros vamos. Okay? And remember, nosotros can also include something like mi familia y yo. That is nosotros, too, because it's my family and I. Ellos, ellas, ustedes van. And we're not going to worry about vosotros. So, aquí son las opciones. Yo voy, tú vas, él, ella, usted va, nosotros vamos, y ellos, ellas, ustedes van. 
So that's going to be our first part, E. So if you wanted to say, por ejemplo, my family and I are going to travel. Okay, tenemos tres partes. Mi familia y yo, my family and I, are going to travel. So, we would start. Remember our structure. Ir, más a, más infinitivo. ¿Sí? So, mi familia y yo, vamos, porque vamos es la conjugación correcta, de, del verbo ir, ok, mi familia y yo vamos a, a es muy importante, a viajar, to travel, and that's what it should look like, claro, so, si tú tienes más preguntas, por favor, um, send señora um, an email, and I will try to get to them as quickly as possible, but I would just recommend doing the optional practice, Okay, and looking over your work, making sure that you really did understand qué significa ir más a más infinitivo. Because it's not easy, but the more you practice it, the more you get used to it. See? ¿Sí?